I used to feel unstoppable. I used to feel confident. Confident as a songwriter, confident as a singer, confident as a communicator. I was planning this next stage of my life. I was planning this new record with that confidence as a foundation, being confident in what I was bringing to the table. I knew what this record was supposed to look like and I knew what the next year, two years of my life was supposed to look like. Everything was planned out. Then I wound up finding out that nothing was gonna look the way I thought it should. One trip to the doctor's office told me that I was going to have to have surgery on my vocal cord. And suddenly, all the confidence I had in my own abilities was completely shot, and everything began to shut down. I had even decided to call this album something to say. And now, after one like crazy change of events, I have nothing to say. And I can't even speak, I can't sing, I'm completely silent. I was really devastated. I had to cancel all my concerts, I had to cancel all my studio dates. I couldn't make my record when I thought I was supposed to. Everybody was waiting on me, my record label. I wasn't able to speak for two months. No talking on my cell phone, no singing to my daughter and before I put her to bed at night, like no talking to my wife. Like I had a dry erase board. Like I was completely humbled down to the very simplest form of communication. I couldn't even speak. I feel like through my season of silence, God really spoke to my heart. A lot of songs on this record do speak to the broken pieces of people's lives, specifically maybe the mistakes they've made or the trials they've faced. Our weakest moments become our defining moments when we allow God to speak to us through them. I remember being in church one Sunday morning after um, my vocal surgery. I was just really going through a difficult time. I was frustrated, um, I was discouraged. The pastor read a quote by C.S. Lewis. God whispers to us in our pleasure. He speaks in our conscience, but he shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. Suddenly, I felt a whole new perspective on this trial and this surgery. I hope people can see my life, see the trials as well as the triumphs and realize that it's all God. And it's really all God that gives me anything to say at all. I'm the one with two left feet standing on the lonely You Are Everything is um, really such a fitting song to be my first radio single from this album because it's really become the soundtrack of my life these last few months. Um, I've been weak, I've been broken, and through it, I found out what I truly have in a savior. And that is, even if everything else falls away, I have his love and Jesus is my everything. I'm so excited to share with people now. Hey, look, look what happened to me. I was weak. My voice was completely taken away. I had to have surgery, but God healed my voice. And through it, he spoke this message to my life, a message of hope, a message that he wasn't done with me yet, that he's got something to say to me. But I just needed to get to that place where my confidence wasn't in me. My confidence is in Him. It's in Him alone. And that's when we truly have something to say to the world. Our something to say winds up being the things that we'd rather not talk about. I think the mistakes that we've made in our lives are things we'd rather just cover up so nobody would see. But then I think about what happens when somebody stands up and says, Hey, look what I struggled with. Look how God has brought me through it. People sit up and take notice. God can use your brokenness. He can use your greatest mistake. If you're willing to give that up to Him, that's when you truly have something to say. And that's what I hope people will hear when they listen to the songs on this record.